in the videos about rocks and the rock cycle, we discussed that rocks can be formed from sediment as well as break apart to form sediment. The process of rocks breaking down at or near the surface of the earth into sediment is called weathering. There are three types of weathering, mechanical, chemical, and biological. First, let's take a look at mechanical weathering. Mechanical weathering is the physical breakup of rocks. This could include rocks falling down a hill and breaking apart, or rubbing against other rocks in a stream. Frost wedging is also mechanical weathering. Frost wedging is when water gets into a crack of a rock, then freezes. When water freezes, it expands, making the crack bigger. After many cycles of freezing and thawing, frost wedging could break a large rock right in half. Chemical weathering breaks down rocks through chemical reactions. Some rock material may dissolve while others are weakened by the chemical reactions. Rain is always slightly acidic, and in some places, because of pollution, it can be even more acidic than usual. Acid rain often discolors and dissolves parts of rocks. Warmer temperatures, softer rocks, and continual exposure over time it increases chemical weathering effects. Biological weathering is mechanical or chemical weathering caused by living organisms. Remember, bio means living. Organisms such as plants, animals, bacteria, and fungi can cause biological weathering. Tree roots can grow in cracks of rocks and split them. Chemicals from plants or fungus can also weaken and break apart rocks. Now that you know more about how rocks break down into sediment, our next video will show how that sediment gets moved all around.